August 20th, <laughs> 2011, and uh, still camping. And my thing's all fogged up. My light was all fogged up. But, um, slept pretty good. Uh, something was poking my knees all night. So that, that wasn't good. But, um, I just want to let you guys know. Um, for breakfast, we are having peaches. We've got peaches for breakfast. Definitely having peaches. This one had a sun drop soda for breakfast. Didn't you, Derek? Hi, YouTube. And you, uh, you just hit it. Where'd you hide it? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Where'd you put it? Four peaches down and time for some smoothie. Yeah, I got some jumbo. Fire number two. Eli can't see. See that stick right there? This one? No, I don't know. Oh, this one? No, the stick. Not the little itty bitty twig. There you go. Been working on this fire for like 10 minutes. <laughs> we haven't started it yet. We're trying to start it. Hey, that was for the pot. This? Yeah. Oh, oh remember those ones wet? With the pot. Yeah, we need something for our, to hold our pot for our crab legs because we're too cheap to spring for a grill like cover or a tripod a thingy. Eli, don't do it. Why do you think you have to play with fire, Eli? I did yesterday to start our fire. Daddy. That, that's how we got... Parents do fire, not kids. See, look at my mosquito bites I just got. And we would have the candle going over there, and we have this going, we have that going, and we have that going, and we're trying really hard to make that go. But it's failing. But what did you say yesterday? Where'd the Sunday paper go, Eva? Go look at the car. For the Sunday newspaper, but don't get mom's scoop on After you let that thing get on fire, then throw it in. Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, that's a secret thing. That's a secret thing. You're a clown in secret. This would work as a nice stick, but not fire. Mom wants that. Gotta go to the bathroom. What's that have to do with the newspaper? After many failed attempts, we finally have a really good fire going. That is definitely a fire. What? Can I throw it in? What do you got there, Eli? Let me see. Watch out, see Pine cones and pine cones. And pine cones. For dinner. For dinner? Nope. This is a raw food camping trip. We're having cucumbers for dinner. Can I throw this in? No. No, we don't need it in there. Say a Mama! Cucumbers and watermelon and salsa. No. Yum yum. Cucumber romaine crunches. No. Why not? You said crab legs. I don't know if we're going to be able to do crab legs, so I'm getting a little concerned. Concerned? We might have to do the crab legs as soon as we return home. We'll yeah. see. We have enough pine cones. I don't know. There's a whole bunch behind here in this tree. You guys went way in the woods to go get pine cones. Whoa, whoa. We hey, hey. My goodness, child. We didn't go in the woods. <laughs> we didn't go in the woods. Wow, Zaya. We, we were, we were out of this... Okay, I'm fine. Isaiah, you are a crazy boy. Mama, we, Mama, we were out of this wilderness. Right. Can I walk up there and take a shower? It's bubbling just because it's wet inside? It's sap, and when sap gets heated, oh. it turns into maple syrup. 
So you think that's maple syrup, huh? That's not maple. <laughs> pine. Well, pine syrup. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All over. Dad. Dad. What? Now that you get that. Eli was holding me like. Uh, uh. Yeah. Ow! He has to work. Uh. Actually. Put out the fire. No, we don't want to put out the fire right now. We don't want to put it out yet. Put it right there behind the, um, yeah, behind the, yeah, dump it. That one dump it. Roast it. He's trying to roast it because he just doesn't like raw food. So I suppose it's one way to eat a peach, but honestly, they taste so much better raw. It won't roast. It won't roast because it knows it wants to be eaten raw. Yeah, there you go. So it's set to rain tonight, so got the tarp over the tent, keep us nice and dry. Now it's time to, um, well, though I eat mostly vegan diet, even when I cook, uh, when, I eat, when I eat cooked foods, it's mostly vegan, I really don't eat any dairy at all. I've pretty much eliminated cheese also, so I don't hardly ever, but I saw the cheese at the farmer's market, the um, Amish cheese, the raw milk cheddar. And I really wanted to try it, so I'll try a little piece here. My little raw food kitchen I got going on here. <laughs> so, raw milk cheddar cheese. It's white. Mmm. It's pretty good. I think uh, it's not something I would eat all the time, but it's a nice little treat. And then you get all the what is it? Everything that comes with raw milk. The enzymes, the probiotics, the, um, hmm, let me see. It tastes really good. Protein, um, calcium, vitamin C, oh, not a source of vitamin C. So yeah, antibiotic free, hand milked and grass fed, unpasteurized, Cheese culture, salt, and everything. And it's really tasty. Like I said, I think I can eat this stuff. Um, maybe, you know, once every couple of months or something. Nice little treat, but definitely tastes delicious. And I'm really excited to find some raw milk cheese. I'm still not going to feed my kids the... Um, if I can, I know that there's a farm that I just learned about um, a couple of miles from us. Well, probably like 20, 30 miles from us. And they do sell their raw milk. But I've decided, you know what, just to eliminate as much dairy as possible. Maybe do the cheeses once in a great while as just like a, a treat. But stick into the almond milk. The kids are doing great on the almond milk. I love the almond milk. And um, it, it's a great source of calcium and fat. And I mean, it's, it's just got all the absorbable nutrients that, um, you know, it's just a lot better for you. So uh, I definitely feel better after eliminating mostly dairy from from my diet so I'll probably have one more piece of cheese and uh, just wanted to share you guys my thoughts on it and uh, how it tastes and and how I did with it so raw milk cheese that's definitely the way that I'm gonna go from now on I'm not gonna buy any cheese from anywhere else except this place and most likely it'll be raw so and uh, even if I do decide to get because this is the only flavor that they had that was raw um, at least it's it's, you know, it's made with love, you know, the Amish people and they hand milk the cows and, you know, they're grass fed and they're taken care of really well and we don't need to eat the meat, but uh, definitely maybe we'll enjoy some cheese from time to time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crackers is mm -hmm. good. Little snack time slash lunch. You guys got some cucumbers, crackers, the raw cheddar, mm. some ranch. You guys having fun camping? Mm.
<laughs> You're tired out, aren't you? You've been busy playing all day. Who's that? A cucumber cracker sandwich? Mm -hmm. You chowing down, Zaya? Got your fresh filtered water? Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. And what is that we hear in the sky? Lightning. Rain. Thunder. It's not raining yet. Is that rain, Derek? Is that rain or is that just wind? <laughs> We should have got like this two enormous tarp to put over a whole campsite. Oh, they like it. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta pack up whatever we don't want getting wet, like the camera. <laughs> See you guys later. Oh, that was scary. Okay, here's our view inside the tent. Luckily, we got some food before it started raining. This is on Eli's cam. Wait, 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 here's the up. Yeah, yeah. And then and then you have to like this. And <laughs> Yeah, here's the view outside.